going on now? This is Nerdcraft here, bringing you game two out of the best of five series. Here, spawning on the eastern position of dual site. Yeah, <laughs> GSL dual site is going to be our blue Terran player, EG to Muslim. His opponent spawning on the western position of GSL dual site is our red Zerg player, Empire Violet, formerly of no team, but before that of Star Tales, I do believe. Which is which is talk about crazy. If you, it, it just seems that so much more. Korean players are really favoring foreign teams lately. Uh, Violet left. Violet willingly left Star Tales. I believe it was just a willing. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might have just been a con uh, a re signing contract thing, you know, or something in the contract he didn't like, or things like that, or he just did leave the team. And uh, as well as TSL Alive also leaving TSL. And. Uh, uh, the big one as of late was not a leaving OGS and all of them have one thing in common that's saying that they are willing to talk to foreign teams to you know maybe come up with a contract so this is it's really crazy to think that the Koreans are taking such a big interest in the foreign scene in uh, StarCraft 2 because in uh, in Brood War they were just they, they did not care for the foreigners, they knew they were the best, and they just like, I, I don't even need to pay attention to you. But really, the only time Koreans versus uh, foreigners was ever in the, uh, was ever in Brood War, was in the WCG, and uh, of course, Day 9 was there representing the US, but the Koreans won, just hands down, so it's crazy to think that these Koreans are taking such a great interest in it. And I think I already said that. But of course, as we can see here, Empire Violet going for that 15 hatch classic as always. Now, Dual Sight is a GSL map, of course, GSL Dual Sight. And it's kind of, whoa, that is cool. Those are, dude, can't you mine these? Why can't you mine these minerals? It's like, they're red, so you have to get at least like 10. Call down five, uh, <laughs> five, five orbital commands worth of mules. So, GSL dual side again. It's kind of known for being a little Zerg favor. Everyone says it's Zerg favored. Zergs kind of always pick it for if they lose. They kind of pick that map for their next game if they if they're losing. They want to make sure that they do win. Oh, nice micro there from the muzzle and getting the uh, SCV to make sure that that drone can't remake a, an extractor on the Vespian geyser. So it's actually surprising that the Muslim picked this game because he. Uh, he, he lost last game to a Roach Baneling bust, and he's actually sticking to the same exact build as he did last game. He's going into that early uh, 1920 command center after barracks. So, yeah, one racks barracks, or one, ra one racks uh, orbital command against Zerg always seems a little risky, to me at least. That could be just because I'm a Silver Leaguer, so. That, that's what I could think of. SCV here just getting a full scout off on everything. Lings are going to come in here. going to ward him away. Probably going to catch him as well. Lings are so slow without speed. 2.95, 2.81. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty surprising that how... Well, to me, yeah, it seems really risky and a little greedy, but by the looks of what the Muslim's doing this game... He's just going to stick on one base for a while and use this command center to, you know, get the mules up and get a lot more SCVs so that way he can easily transition into, uh, tank, into, don't you dare lift that barracks, the Muslim, into marine tank. Of course, Violet is going to be seeing that factory. Oh, God, that was really close. He saw that factory floating there. He's like, oh, yeah, there's, uh, obviously he's going to react to hell in and holy crap, he... <laughs> he almost let it in too with the factory. That was uh, that was kind of nail biting right there. Second factory on its way up for the Muslim, so he might just be transitioning straight into that uh, tank marine combination right now, or he could be going for mech. He does have two gas up, and he's getting four hellions. He's probably going to expand after these four hellions. That's what you always see. The hellions go over here and just do a light contain uh, off the edge of the creek, and uh, macro hatchery being used. By, uh, being made by Violet as well as a spine crawler. This is a much better wall off. This is a much better wall than uh, an Evo Chamber. It's just a lot better. It's like Evo Chamber, I think, takes up this much space on the grid, and then a hatchery takes up this much space on the grid. So that's obviously bigger. Oh, it's the same size as a spawning pool. So yeah, yeah, that's about the same size. So uh, hatchery is definitely a lot bigger than Evo Chambers. The tech lab has been put on. The, uh, on the factory and siege, do siege dome, siege mode, as well as a factory, uh, as well as a, 
Man, I'm just mixing up all of my words today. Uh, siege mode as well as a tank being made right now for Hellions. Gonna secure the expansion for the Muslim. Uh, six, actually. I don't know if he's gonna put pressure on this or not. He does see that there's three Hellions, but doesn't know if there's four or six or, you know, he doesn't really know the, the full number. Well, that Overlord saw it, so yes, he does know the full number. This is Violet we're talking. He's a good player. He's good. And I like that the Muslim's actually splitting up his Hellions. This is really good. The Spine Crawler, you're gonna see it. Uh, let's see here. Double Evo Chamber wall off as well as another Spine Crawler. So this is a pretty solid wall right there. It's kind of, it's pretty Hellion proof unless you have like a bajillion, not a bajillion, but more like, you know, half your supply worth of Hellions and then you can just power right through. Lose like five, but you don't care because you can still one shot drones. So it looks like just the Muslim, he's gonna he's gonna fall back. He's gonna get his uh, Hellion count actually up. So I'm thinking he's gonna stick with tech. He is making a couple Marines, just for uh, just for uh, by the looks of it, Overlord uh, hunting. And the Hellion's gonna come in from this angle. This time there's eight of them. They are just increasing in numbers. He was uh, Muslim was gonna try to go over here and try to sneak around, but the Evo chain is blocked. You see, that's what uh, a lot of people. Uh, it seems that there's people who think the Evo chamber wall is really stupid but no it, it, you're directing it right into the spine collar and trust me I would never want to be directed into a spine collar those things do uh, 25 damage versus light I don't exactly have a lot of HP so big <laughs> coming up from uh, the Muslim he's just gonna try and make sure that uh, the creep is not spread at all the links coming in from this side kind of gonna try and uh, put the Hellions against spine collars and themselves gonna go for the surround a Muslim you can you can you can kill them or you can just die oh that's not good at all not a good trade You're losing two Hellions for free but now he's doing micro uh, loses three hmm not good spider coming up here for violet as well as burrow so I'm not sure if he's gonna be does he have a Balian's nest no he doesn't have a Balian's nest but money scan they're gonna see the spire Armory is on its way, so the Thors are going to be out, ready to ready to roll. Hmm, I, I'm curious. I'm very I'm very interested in the fact that he's getting burrowed, but he doesn't have balings or roaches. Uh, it could just just to be spread out uh, zerglings to here uh, to every expansion and burrow them. You know, just make that make the uh, establishing your expansions a lot you know, more uh, a lot more. What's the word to use? A lot more annoying, I suppose. And as you see, the Muslim going to clean up all these wings, does not lose a single Hellion, that's really good from there. Single Thor is on its way, Roach Warren is on its way as well, so... I think, uh, Violet's thinking, oh man, this is actually, it is going to be a little, uh, rough here. Can he actually not see? Oh, that's interesting, he doesn't have vision right there. And the Hellion's going to come in, going to try and deny the Zerg, the Zerglings come in. And they're gonna try and corner these Hellions, but, uh, there, there are just too many Hellions, and they're gonna... Yeah, you're too much lings are dying, so level one vehicle plane coming up, that's really good. I like how he's going for that first, so that way the Hellions are just a lot more durable. Uh, some lings hanging out over here, of course, burrowed ling at every expansion, or at least this expansion. Yeah, just that expansion. So the Hellions, if they take out this hatchery, holy crap, that's about impressive. Uh, blue flame is about five blizzard seconds away from completing. He could have just committed to that if he felt like it. Well, the mutilists were out, so no, he couldn't. So, yeah. And, uh, the Muslim is gonna be going for pure mech by the looks of things. His, uh, his barracks doesn't have anything on it, and, you know, he hasn't researched stim or combat shield unless this is, like, a 15-minute stim build that I have never heard of, and it's, like, completely new, and the Muslim is, uh, like, the absolute inventor of it. He's going to, you know, uh, he's, it's all signs for mechs, so... The Mutilists were coming in, but the Thors already, I don't know if the Muslim, or not the Muslim, but yes, Violet does know that there are Thors, he has a changeling in right there. Uh, I hate when that happens, when you're just, you're sitting there like, yeah, everything's good, everything's going right, then all of a sudden you hear the changeling die, and you're like, what? No, no, Mutilists gonna come in here, try to pick off a refinery, this is gonna be very big, because the, um, because he's gonna need a lot of gas, the Muslim's just really gonna have to get as much gas as he can. Three, four floors coming in, and uh, the mutilist got a little uh, got a little excited. He's like, "Yeah, I want to kill something," but then, oh hey, look there, there are four Thors. Three O says the Muslim. Uh, of course, it's not it's not gonna be three O. 
Oh, oh yeah, I remember. The Muslim actually claimed he was going to 3-0 Violet, and now Violet, uh, no, Violet said that he was going to 3-0 the Muslim, so he's like, 3-0, huh? <laughs> the Muslim realizing, or Violet realizing, oh man, I don't know if this will be a 3-0. This army is very scary. Of course, you see 152 to 130, and the, uh, uh, the orbital command or command center is trying to, to uh, is trying to get down, but you know the the bailings were did burrow, and unfortunately that was just it was too obvious, and the Muslims saw it. And man, I hope I haven't been missing anything on the mini map. That's a big problem of mine. Pathogen's glands on its way as well as 13 roaches. Planetary fortress being established over here. The mute is still just being really annoying right now. The Thor is going to come back and uh, just clean them all up. The Hellions wishing that they could. Uh, the Hellions wishing that they could shoot up, but don't worry, the, um, in, uh, in Heart of the Swarm, they're going to be able to transform and have a, a wider AoE, so I guess that means in Legacy of the Void, they're going to be able to transform or, like, they're either going to be able to transform a different transformation to shoot up, or they're going to transform into, like, jets that, that have massive flamethrowers and have more AoE than a, a Baneling. So... <laughs> Roach, yeah, think about that one. Think how scary that would be for your mutalisks. Uh, uh, Empire just is getting ready for an attack by looks of with these roaches. He, he did bring roaches up over here, but, you know, the, the mech army was, was ready and waiting. Did lose a single Thor, but, you know, the, at the rate that the Muslim is pumping out these Thors and tanks, it doesn't really matter. And that, that's, that's what I'm going to miss about in Heart of the Swarm. Thors, they're so freaking cool. I love Thors. They're like one of the... One of my, they are my favorite unit, actually. Uh, I wouldn't say favorite unit, but they're definitely on the they're definitely on the list. And another one's going to go down, uh, forcing the Muslim back. Now, this is what's really nice about playing against Mech is that the their their army is super immobile. Of course, you have Roaches, which aren't exactly mobile, but compared to a, a Terran Mech army, very very mobile compared to a Terran Mech army, the uh, Roaches will be a lot more mobile. And Thors, as well as tanks and Hellions coming in, they're going to try and clean up these Roaches. Uh, Hive Tech is being morphed right now here for uh, Violet and burrowing the roaches. Gonna have to use another scan and another scan over here. He does know that the roaches are over there. There you go. He's gonna put down the scan. Uh, pa uh, pa Neural Parasite actually being researched right now. That's kind of a good way of countering Thor's. Of course, it was a lot more easier when the range was nine, but it, it still works if you're hugging the Thor's with your with your roaches. And the roaches gonna be coming in, gonna take out this planetary. Uh, just Violet being everywhere on the map at once is like, yeah, your army's over there. Well, I'm gonna attack the furthest expansion away from your army, and I they does siege mode is done for the Muslim, but I'm just curious as to why he's not using it. Three more roaches on their way. Uh, another expansion over here. Uh, Violet is just taking the map, and the Muslim gonna be able to clean up this roach army. I think the Muslim should push after this, so that way he's not having he does he doesn't have to worry about having to counter pressure from. Uh, or doesn't want to worry about stopping pressure from Violet at different angles and there's actually roaches still in here that were burrowed this is really annoying for the Muslim looks like he's just gonna say screw the rules I have Thors and I'm gonna push onto the creep with the Hellions now this is really sad that everything's dying uh, not oh yeah he is making tank uh, t one Thor and three tanks are being made so I think they'll be able to clean up oh man more roaches coming in but uh, but the Muslim is going to try and force Violet's army into his own base. As we can see here, the siege up, going to clean up all the roaches here. Now Violet is going to have to get, going to have to be a little nervous about this situation because, of course, as Terran player, you can just easily lift and float. Thor's going down as they live. The si this siege tank is not sieging up, and I think that would be very beneficial. This uh, this command, this orbital command is going to have to bring up over here. As we can see, the Thor's and the tanks just coming in. A lot of uh, a lot of SCVs are in the entire mix as well to make sure that this is an immortal army, like a true impossibly immortal army. The problem though with the Muslim's push is that Violet has a lot and a lot of stuff. He has a one base, two base, uh, two base, three base, four base, five base, six. Well, not six, but... Oh wait, yeah, he does a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he does a six. Well, not for, not for long. And the infestors in the back here, they're gonna get ready to either uh, infest a Terran or a Neural Parasite. The Muslim floating all of his buildings over here. There is no, there are no mutilists on the map. Violet stopped making those because he thought, well, what's the point? And he has so many Thors. 
It's 76 to 193, and the Thor's getting ready to take on the, the Hive as well as all the other tech. This would be huge if the Muslim can take out the Hive as well as the Bailey Nest and the Spire and the Spawning Pool. Violet smiling, and the Muslim making some sort of a uh, little weird face right there. He knows he's in a lot of trouble, especially now that the Roaches are coming back. Scan going down to reveal that they, oh yeah, those infestors are there, and the Muslim is, or Violet is just going to sit there and wait. All the tech is going down, though. Violet, being the smart player that he is, he already rebuilt his Roach Warren, and he's rebuil rebuilding his Spire right now, as well as Lair. So, whew, man. This is going to be very odd game. This is going to be a very close game if uh, the Muslim can actually pull it off. You know, I, I feel that the Muslim has a very superior army. They're 2-1-1, uh, one, one, so they're a lot more durable. And uh, Violet is just... Violet has a lot of investors. Holy crap. Well, not a lot, but he's definitely got plenty. Oh, no, and they're going to all be caught out of position, losing one for free. That's not good. That's not what you want to do with your investors. Uh, as we can see here, the Roaches. Wow, he made a lot of factories. Um... Roach is finally finding where that um, where that other uh, where that base is. All these factories are are making, and here's the huge engagement coming in for Violet, uh, and he's he's realizing, oh crap, there's too much stuff. I can't do it. I can't hold. Uh, they are two one, but these um, it, but it's the same with this mech. And the problem is that siege tanks do twenty eight damage versus um, armored, and roaches don't do any additional damage versus armors. Thors do. Um, Thors don't do any additional damage against armor. There's no SCVs in the back here, so the, it looks like the Muslim left his SCVs over here, so these Thors are now finally vulnerable. This hatch is going to be cleaned up. The Roach Warren is back there. These tanks, uh, you know, lurking ever closer forward, and the Muslim just going back and forth with his orbital command, or, yeah, his orbital commands. Uh, one factory has managed to be taken out, and the Hellions that were made from there, which are Blue Flame, are just going in here and destroying all these drones. Holy crap, if we look. Uh, of course, not, not, not really comparable to the 91 SCVs that, uh, that Violet has killed. And these Hellions are going to be cleaned up by the Queens, mainly because they want to get through, but they can't. And the Muslim moving his army onto this base over here. I don't know if he knows about this base up here. Uh, no, but he will soon. He sees the creep. He's like, oh, man. There's another base over there. He needs to bring some SCVs there. The Muslim finally realizing that, oh man, I need some SCVs here. Uh, he doesn't have that much minerals, so he's not going to be able to repair for, you know, ever. But if he could just bring, like, if he could bring something over here to clean up these roaches, he could land his orbital commands, put down those mules, and he'll have something hatchery going up right here. Can uh, the Muslim, yeah, the Muslim sees that. So this game has officially descended into chaos quite a while ago. More spine colors being made for... Violet, it's he has fifteen hundred minerals, so he's pretty much like, yeah, I can, I can do that, but I don't want to engage your army. I can try and just keep you running slowly, wear you down, and the Muslim finally la landing all of his orbital commands. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to repair this factory. I hope he repairs it pretty soon. Well, he does have some SCVs. Ah, uh, come on, Muslim! Oh, you're making me nervous here. Land your, land your freaking mules too. You have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, soon to be five. Mules, come on, you can totally land them all. There you go, there's all, oh, look at all those mules. Oh, they just make me so happy when I hear them land. And, uh, this factory's still not being repaired. I don't like that, I don't like that at all. Scouting barracks for the win. And uh, Violet is going to try and uh, regroup his roaches and make a final assault onto this base. Ah, uh, remake the, repair the factory, please. Oh, that is just dick move right there. Putting contamination on, onto the command center. Luckily, you can still, you know, collect stuff from it. And finally, that factory is being repaired. Getting me nervous there, the Muslim. Uh, the only problem is that the Muslim is supply blocked, like pretty badly supply blocked. If he can, uh, if he can get some supply depots up, he's getting one up. He's not gonna. That's not gonna really keep him that that great for now. He just needs to get some more. There's a supply depot over here. Overlord knows about it. And uh, hatchery over here. This is uh, the Muslim wanting to make sure that he's not 3 0 at all by Violet. He's really sticking into in there and uh, he's really holding in there. Violet is max on roaches but uh, they are 2-1 still and the Muslim has no way of making any more Thors. This uh, this supply depot is taken out. There's a tech lab over here. Single drone, lonely drone over here. Uh, mining which then he's gonna meet a, uh, a blue flame hellion. Roach is over here coming in. The supply depot, and here's the engagement. There we go. GG, well played from the Muslim. 
Oh, uh, man, he just saw that. Those. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed the uh, crap. I missed the engagement. I'm so sorry. There was all the Thors right here that were taken out by the roaches and then the, the tanks. Yeah, sorry. Sorry I missed that engagement. I feel really bad about it. But, yeah, anyway, that's uh, game number two. Violet bringing up the 2-0 against EG to Muslim. Stick around for game number two. Scantipede is staring at me very scare, very uh, creepy, creepy like with his uh, side mouth. So stick around for game number two. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to make sure that you're getting the games and you're not having to look and search for them. You know, you know. Then then you get. I don't know about you guys, but like when I search for videos, I kind of get sidetracked. Like, oh man, that video in the in the sidebar looks weird or cool or whatever. And then I get. And then before you know it, I'm in the weird part of uh, YouTube again and uh, wondering why ha why don't I know what the series score is so 2-0 for violet right now stick around for game number three i'll see you then